Hello, good morning everyone, it's Kay. How's it going everyone today? So this is uh, 1st of December 2020 and this is on Tuesday. So this is a recorded video. So every Tuesdays, Wednesdays, I record videos and upload on YouTube so that you can learn something new from my channel. So before starting, just a quick disclaimer. Um, my information is based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So today, I would like it. I would like to talk about the Bitcoin because I think I've been getting so many questions and comments about the Bitcoin because it's going up. So let me give you my analysis on this. So here is a Bitcoin, the daily chart. But this one, I think it's better to look at the higher time frame, especially today's the December first. So the new monthly candlestick is forming right now. So let's check the monthly chart first. So here's the monthly chart and I can see that the um, there was a huge strong uptrend last month of um, November and now December starts over here. The latest candlestick is the December candle and now this is actually at the top right now. So if you, if you can draw this uh, horizontal line, it's going to be like, like this. This uh, 19791 area, the market is reaching over here. So the question is whether it's going to break through or it's going to be resisted and go down once. And afterwards, it, whether it's going to go up continuously breaking this line upwards or it's going to continue to go down this way will be the question. So that can be possible to read by Ichimoku Kinkohyo. So let's try this one. So first, here is a monthly chart once again. And on this monthly chart, I can see that the Kumo twisted, but it just twisted uh, newly. This uh, Kumo is still young, too short. So, and also Kijun Sen is flat. On the Kijun Sen is flat. So I can, in this monthly chart, I can see that the market retries backwards this way. Uh, because the Kumo is not really long enough and Kijun Sen is flat, so that means the chance for the market to be coming back to the Kijun Sen or Kumo is relatively higher. So that um, it can be resisted here on this level. So that's the monthly chart. Um, hold on, let me adjust the frame so that you can you can tell uh, which currency, which um, market and which time frame I'm looking at. So moving on to weekly chart, let's break it down to the weekly chart. And weekly chart, this is a very interesting formation. Is that the uh, the Kumo here, after the Kumo twisted bullish here, um, it's been quite a strong bullish trend continuously. And not only that, the Senko Span B up and A's up also. Both the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up and Chikou Span all the way above the candles. So no doubt this is a strong uptrend. And not only that, on this weekly chart, what's significant um, this week is that the um, it broke this doji candlestick upwards. So the previous candlestick was doji and it looks like the market broke the recent high upwards this way. So I can see the potential continuous uptrend in this case. So that's the weekly chart. And let's move on to the daily chart. All right, in daily chart, this is also uptrending. So the um, Kumo, Senko Span, AB up, Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen flat, but Chikou Span above the candles too. And I can see that this is a uh, N wave. This is bullish N wave and broke higher this way. And now the market is reaching towards the highest level possible, 19791 level. So to wrap it up, the monthly chart is still flat but weekly chart is uptrending and the daily chart also shows that this is uptrending so i think the possibility for the market to break higher is relatively higher however because the monthly chart is flat um, it might be resisted here and go back and then break this um psychological line upwards in the future so to be safer i would wait for the breakout I will wait for the breakout of the previous high and place a buy. Look for the buy chance afterwards. It will be a good option to take trade. And in this case, I won't never sell. I will never look for sell because 
all these time frames, monthly chart, weekly chart, daily chart, everything shows bullish. So I think um, you know you, you want to set the mind to where to buy in this case. So yeah, that was my Bitcoin analysis. I hope you liked it. So if you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives every day. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be on Wednesday and Wednesday I will talk about my strategy KTS. So I will more focus on the lower time frames next week, I mean tomorrow, and uh, talk about the trading edges in lower time frames. So thank you for watching until the end and I hope you have a great, great day today. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.